So if you're trying to repaint the doors in your home, these are my four best tips and stick around to the last one because it's the best. So tip number one, just leave the door on the hinges. That way you're gonna be able to paint all four sides at once without waiting for the paint to dry. The procedure here is to paint the edges, paint one side of the door, swing it closed or swing it open and paint the other side. Now, in order to keep the door stationary, I like to put some shims in from the end and as you move it around, you just take the shims out, put them back in. It's nice to get the door nice and stable. That way you can get painting and not have to worry about it flopping around. Second tip here is get your prep work done ahead of time. Nothing is gonna slow you down, like not having everything ready to go when the paint starts hitting the door. First thing that I like to do for prep work is just to tape off the hinges. Get yourself some painter's tape, rip yourself off a piece that is longer than the hinge, stick it on and line it up with this outside edge. Press it firmly onto the hinge, and then go ahead and cut that off with a little utility knife. If you have a small one, it works quite a bit better than the bigger utility knives, but you can still do it with the big ones. Any of the products that I'm talking about here in this video, I will link in the description if you are in the market. And then just cut yourself a narrow little strip of tape, pop that on the other side, and the hinge is all covered. Definitely take off your doorknob. You can tape off the doorknob, but if you can, if you have the ability to take it off, I have a video on how to take doorknobs off super quick. So I'll put that at the end of the video if you're interested in that. Then you wanna just give the door a sand. Instead of cleaning it off with some solution or cleaner, I like to just take a uh, sponge sander Give it a quick sand. If there's any lumps anywhere, just sand those lumps off or even take like a little putty knife and scrape them off and then sand that nice and flat. Just go over it quickly. Then you wanna take some paper towel or a rag and just get some, spritz some water on the rag. You don't want it to be completely wet. Just a little bit of moisture will help pick up the dust. Wipe that all off. And then the final thing, is make sure you have your shims to hold the door secure and get a piece of cardboard or paper to put along the bottom. That way you're not gonna have to worry about spilling paint on your floor. So tip number three is how to actually get the paint on the door. The name of the game here is speed and accuracy. To do that, for this particular door, which is a three panel door with texture, I like to use a combination of a little mini roller with a 10 nap synthetic roller on here that holds a lot of paint and just a regular two and a half inch angled brush. And then this little Pelican um, paint bucket is really sweet because it has capabilities to accommodate the little roller and a little magnet for the brush. What you wanna do is just get a minimal amount of paint on the roller, hit your edges first. You don't want too much paint because it's just gonna fold over the sides and make a bit of a mess. Once you've got the edges painted, load up the roller completely with paint and then I like to just get into all of these little reveals here, get paint and all. You wanna get it pretty nice and even, but you don't wanna spend too long fiddling around. So get that into the reveals, load up the brush, cover the rest of the door. When it comes to getting rolling right along the edge, don't have maximum paint on your roller. Wipe a little off and then come out to the edge. That way it's not gonna wrap around onto the edges. So get a really nice thick and even coat on the entire door. If you do a nice thick coat, if you're not changing the color too drastically, you can definitely get away with one coat. Once you've got all the paint on here, because this is textured, I like to brush out the entire door at this point. And I'll just start at the top here and just follow the different wood grains. There's a bunch of direction changes here, so it could be very challenging. Follow the direction with a nice, even light pressure. Work your way into the reveals here. Come along, brush out this middle section. I'll leave the two side rails to the very end because they go continuously all the way along. And then before you flip the door over to the other side, just give it a once over, a visual inspection of all the different areas. If you've got any runs, just quickly take those runs out and fade them back in to your nice brushed work. Once you've got that all brushed up, take out your shim, flip the door around and hit the other side. And if you have a smooth surface door, disregard everything that I just said. What you wanna do is use a brush for any of the reveal sections. And then for all the smooth parts, you wanna use a smooth surface roller. This one here is a five mil nap. Use that to get all of your paint on the flat sections. You can get a nicer finish 
than a brush will give you. You don't want to be brushing a bunch of flat panels on a door. Either way though, tip number four is going to work great for both types of doors, and that is to use a product called Floetrol or even water. You want to add this to the paint just to give it a little more time to work with. Regular paint with nothing added is going to start to tack up in about five to seven minutes. The Floetrol is pretty much going to double the workability time. And when you're dealing with a three panel door, especially with the grain with a bunch of different directions, the extra time is going to come in handy. And hey, if you want to see the quickest way to get your doorknob off, check out this video right over here. So if you're going to be repainting the doors in your home, these are my top four tips. Stick around to the end. It's the off. Oh. Rachel, if you're going to be repainting the doors, <laughs> just stop. Settle down, little fella. You're getting a little hyped up.